I want to show you again everyone, so we have another Q 0 a relatively recent release because this is number Z78, okay, is the Ferrari 355 Spider. I just stumbled upon this by accident. I have the coupe. I didn't know that they made the uh, the Spider. Berlinetta is, I guess, the Italian for coupe. These are officially licensed products, uh, which is, well, I guess that's nice. I was going to say that which is why it's expensive, but I don't think the licensing has to do with the price of this because this costs the same as other Charco Zeros. It's just that all Charco Zeros, I think, are overpriced. <clears throat> Alright. In typical uh, Tomy fashion, very often you have to glue on your own mirrors, but you can see the mirror stocks are so small. I mean, they're realistic, but if you knock it off, you're just going to have a glue spot on your uh, your model. So I never put, I very rarely put those things on, and I will not be doing so here. I'm just going to just break off. So I think it's cool that some people have actually drawn the, the Berlinetta of this car. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any where they were the, the spider. Let's uh, look into this uh, toy now. So we have a nice metallic blue. I know it came in some other colorways too, but uh, I like the blue. I don't think I have a, a zero Ferrari in this color. I might be mistaken though. Okay, so let's see. I guess I'll start out the front hood here because we got the Ferrari badge and it looks pretty nice. Let's see if we zoom in. Yeah, you can definitely see a horse. No text though. So that's unfortunate. You can also see there's some impurities or dust or something in the paint, so that's not very good. Hmm. All right, in the grill we have a raised prancing horse and it's painted silver, and then we have uh, painted silver fog lights and probably turn signals maybe. There's a grill texture and it's pretty re well recessed, painted black, so that looks good. A little vent here to the interior, I'm guessing. No paint though. It's just the body color. You can see the actual plastic of the windshield is kind of tinted. Right? But it's pretty clear. It's pretty transparent, so that's nice. Um, let's see. So the side windows here. I mean, not side windows. What am I saying? The side view. The the wheels are specific to the real car. You know, this is the type of wheel that came on the 355, so that's nice. What I don't like about Zeros is the slap sidedness of the tires. They're just really dumb. I mean, they don't look like tires to me. They look like just someone just took Play-Doh and just cut it with a razor blade and stuck it on this thing. That's that's what it looks like. And then you may have noticed like the wheel is literally sticking out from the tire. So that that's pretty horrible also. Like <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. Right? So Cherokee really needs to get back to their old tires are much better than these newer tires. They look more realistic and they never seem they're much softer. Yeah, it's too bad. Alright, well anyways, you got five lug nuts and a center cap and there actually is air passing between the spokes, so that's nice. It's not blanked off. Alright, there's also the um that Ferrari crest or shield, so that looks pretty nice. You can see the panel gaps don't go all the way down. That's part of the molding process. Uh, although it's kind of weird. I, if they had to mold this side vent in, um, I kind of feel like they maybe could have molded it all the way. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not a mold engineer, so. Going to the back, we have really nicely painted uh, taillights. I mean, they're concentric. The white is actually in the same circle as... Uh, you know, the red, so if this is made with green light, that dot would be way off. Alright, so it's nice to the silver on these blanked off exhaust tips. And then this is another gripe I have with the brand. These these are coin holders, so the thing can do a wheelie. I just don't know if people would really do that to something looking this nice. I mean, this toy is it's nicely painted, you know. I, I guess if you're really rich, you would play with it and just ram it into a wall and scratch all this up, but... I think normal people probably don't, don't actually play with these, so I feel like they could get rid of these. Or have an optional base. Or really, maybe this should be an optional piece. They could redesign it so this coin holder snaps onto like two tabs or something. So you could display it with or without the coin holder. <laughs> yeah, they 
to do that. Okay, well we have Ferrari printed back here. That looks pretty good. Uh, there's a black tunnel here for the soft top. Yeah, probably a separate piece. And then you have some really shallow seats, of course. But they're nice. Uh, they have ribbing in there. Naturally, they're a little bit... I don't know why they didn't make them wider. But, uh, yeah, half a steering wheel. So this is all you know, shortened because there's a spring motor in here. This rectangle you see right there is for that wind-up motor. I'm not even sure if people, yeah, again, you don't need the motor. Well, anyways, it's nice that you know that it says zero. Now, that's Japanese for Cherokee, I guess. Uh, for, you know, the car is, it's licensed. And then this is the production dial, so this was made in August of 2022. So, yeah pretty recent release okay we're gonna do a little cartoon Ferrari show hold on a second well I was mistaken I actually do have another blue Ferrari it's actually a 355 Ber Berlinetta so I didn't see it in my uh, Choro Q box yeah so it was almost identical obviously minus the whole roof the wheels are the same and you know actually though this blue hold on focus this blue is different. I thought it would be the same, but it looks darker, if not more purple. To me, I feel like that's a purple blue, whereas that's just a metallic blue. So that's good. It's good. It's not completely identical. So this is the 355 Challenge, and it came with a separate wing that you're expected to glue on, but of course I, I didn't do so, uh, because it's just going to break off. But it, at least these wheels, oh, these are totally molded differently. Uh, hold on here. Yeah, you can see the, the wheels, these are like flat faced. These have the little groove or depression in the, the spokes. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm going to guess the casting otherwise is the same as that uh, purplish one. One thing I have to throw out there is this Dendeva model. I think Ted Dave is in my subscriptions here on YouTube, and he gives out these free STLs if you have a 3D printer. And yeah, he I downloaded this off his website, and uh, yeah, it's cool. It actually has this hollow, has some seats in there. You have to paint it yourself, though, of course. That's a Testarossa if you're unaware of what that car was. Here's a very old Choro Q, where it literally has like printing or three-dimensional text on the wheels. See, now look at these tires. They're much more rounded, you know. I don't need to have the molded text, but, you know, tires are balloons. They're just thick rubber balloons, so I am kind of wish they had uh, that on the Cherokee Zero line. Anyways, so how old is this Dino here? It's 1980, it says. Possibly it's from the very first collection. You also see this actually has treads, and that's another thing Choro Q has gotten away from, which is lazy, I think. Just pure laziness. Laziness of design and production. So here's a zero again. As nice as this Ferrari 250 GTO is, the, the tires look slab sided. You can see there's a crack there in the tire, so that's not very nice. At least the front tire has some curvature and the wheels are flush. So I don't know why the wheels on this one we're reviewing, reviewing today are not flush. It's just strange. I added some paint details to this to bring out the vents and all that stuff. But I like the race livery of this one for sure. Yeah, let's just see how old this one is. This is from 2019, August 2019. It's, uh, it's Z65. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, one other old one I shall show is an F1 car, and his cartooning is different. See, again, the tires are nice and rounded. Now, this text I like because Dunlop is a real tire tire company, so that's cool. Um, how old is this guy? Somewhere between 80 to 84, this thing was made, but it's much longer than usual. <clears throat> you can see there or actually from the top you can see how much longer it is whereas all the other ones are generally proportioned the same I'm gonna reset this and show you some fancier ones 
So they're actually resin deformed cars and a few Ferraris are out there. This is a 250 GTO again, but now you can see there's a full brown interior, a hollow spoke steering wheel, and then the hood itself has like photo etch metal pieces and it's really quite nice. The only criticism for this particular one is there's only one windshield wiper. I don't know why they're so lazy as to do that when they could have easily glued on two. But I put on a, my own license plate. I think those are clear taillights. I can't remember. You'll have to look up the review of this, but it's really, it's really cool. Uh, I don't know who made it. Uh, actually, sorry, the placard here does say Little Egg if you want to try to search this out. Oh boy, hold on. It's so shiny. There's only 400 of this color made, though. So, Little Egg 250 GTO. That's your best way to search that out. These are such weird looking cars, maybe maybe you'd still be able to find one. I don't know how many people really collect these cartoon cars, but I'm pretty sure I'm like one of the only people reviewing them because it's so obscure and niche. So this is, uh, again, that's like 400, but this is made by Timothy and Pierre, so you can look up that. It's weird that they wouldn't write Timothy and Pierre here, but this is a, a La Ferrari, if I recall. This one has no interior though, so it's definitely a little substandard, I think. Or am I mistaken? No, I'm not mistaken, that's just a reflection. I thought I saw light going through the side glass, but no. It's just a solid chunk of plastic resin. But look at that side vent, how deep it goes. That's really impressive. And if you look in the grill here, there's actually a grill texture. There's probably a piece of, I don't know, maybe there's a piece of metal there. Alright, so really cool. You know, transparent tail lights, the round exhaust pipes. I think those exhaust pipes might be metal. Okay, so Timothy and Pierre put that thing out. And then uh, the last one I have is this Ferrari F1 car. It's definitely a bigger scale, but it's still pretty nice. I mean, look at the photo etch antennae there on the nose. Look at all these details, the suspension. I mean, hold on, front view. It literally is suspension arms. So this is leagues better than most realistic looking F1 uh, models of this general size range. And who made this? It says Mini Racing. Yeah, but only 300 of this uh, 2007 Raikkonen car. So naturally, you know, these are, they're in a different league compared to Choro Q's. Um, and, and they cost a lot more as well, so it's up to you if you think it's worth the money. Alright, well anyways, so my typical criticism for Choro Q as a brand, uh, they could easily fix the tires. I don't know why they don't do that. I think they should uh, get rid of the coin holder. I think they should also have transparent uh, bodies like the old ones so the turn signals will look a little more realistic. But one nice thing is the wheels are realistic looking and not just generic. This one has like a weird cartoony interior but different colors. And the paint's nice except for a few dust contaminants. So, well, anyways. Uh, I think that's uh, I'm up to date on all the Cherokee Zeros, but they have a new line called Q's. So if you missed out on a lot of these Cherokee Zeros, it seems like I think they're taking the old molds from this line, the Zero line, and putting them into the new Q's line. So that happened with the Honda City, if you want to look up that video. I'm pretty sure that body is from the old Zero lineup. So you might have a chance to actually pick up these things at the regular retail prices. Uh, instead of the inflated eBay stuff. Alright, well thank you for watching today. This is a Strike Dog from the Botom series, if you're curious. Alright, tune out.